Every now and then, beside getting spring, autumn and winter, Britain gets a summer. And should a heat wave turn summer into simmer, it's surprising how many people notice it. Oh, lummy, it's hot, Ethel. Yes, the man on the wireless said it was going to be. I know, that's why I can't understand it. Funny the way it's always men who make the weather forecasts. So what? Well, why don't they have women doing it? Don't be daft. The weather's changeable enough as it is. <laughs> oh, well, we couldn't make it any worse than the men do. Yeah, no, but I'll bet you'd give us a lot more of it, eh? <laughs> well, you're right about it being hot anyway. Yes, my shirt hasn't been so wet since you used to cry on my shoulder in the pictures. I bet <laughs> Mrs Cross is feeling it. This weather doesn't agree with her. Uh, the only thing that agrees with Mrs Cross is her husband. Funny, she hasn't called here for nearly a week. Do you think we've said anything to offend her? Well, if we have, you better find out what it is, then we'll all know what to say to her next time. Oh, Joe. Well, I've no time for her, you know. The way she has her husband waiting on her hand and foot all the time. Well, he doesn't have to. Of course he does. If he didn't, she'd stop him from having his chocolate drops. <laughs> mm, who's that? Yeah, can't be opportunity, love. That only knocks once. Oh, sometimes it only pats on the window. Yes, well, better see who it is. Oh... Hello, Mr Huggett. Oh, hello, Mr Cross. You've done your shopping? Oh, yes, yes, I've done my shopping. Yes, yeah, sprouts were a bit dear this week, weren't they? Yes, they were that. Mr Huggett, look, I'm very worried about my wife. Yeah, so would I be if she was mine, Mr Cross. She's not well. Well, you're not looking such a bundle of energy yourself. Oh. What's wrong with her? Well, I think it's the heat, you know. She just lies on the settee all wan. Wan? Don't you mean she's all wan? Oh, she's hardly half a wan at the present, Mr Huggett. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, what do you want me to do? Give you a prescription? Well, I thought your wife might have a suggestion, oh, you know. Well, she probably has. I'll call her. Ethel! What is it, Joe? Mr Cross, his wife's all wan and she's not well. Yeah, she doesn't feel like doing a thing. Oh, dear. She often suffers from that complaint, doesn't she? Yes, do you think I ought to give her something? Yeah, I should, if I were you. I think she needs cooling <laughs> down, you know. I've noticed that. Yeah. Couldn't you fan her with something? I think you ought to give her some soda water with milk. Why? I've got some soda water, if you'd like to come in a minute. Oh, thank you. I'll go and get it. Uh, oh, what unusual wallpaper. Eh? There's ducks, aren't there? Yeah, so everyone tells us. Oh, it's nice, cool wallpaper, isn't it? Oh, I like the ducks in the pond. That's very cooling, that, yeah, isn't it? Cooling, eh? Would you like me to tear a strip off for Mrs Cross? Yeah, wouldn't it spoil the wall? Eh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course it would. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here you are, Mr Cross. Give us some of this with some cold milk. Oh, thanks. That's very kind of you. I hope it cools her down. Yeah, so do I. I've been drinking the stuff all morning and I'm still as hot as blazes. Oh, thank you very much and good party. Oh, what a man. <laughs> She's just playing him up again, Joe. Can't he see anything? I don't know, but he certainly spotted this flipping wallpaper. What's wrong with the stuff, Ethel? I don't know, but something is. I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, everyone else can. You can see the finger marks where they've pointed out how unusual it is. I'm getting sick and tired of people passing remarks about it, Ethel. Oh, well, they don't all say they dislike it. No, but they all talk about it. And I take a poor view of our wallpaper being discussed by every Tom, Dick and Harry. Now, don't get worked up, Joe. It's too hot. OK, OK. Shall I lie on the settee and let you pour milk and soda water down my throat? Well, if I did, there'd be pepper in it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe... Do you know what would make the house much cooler? Yes, yeah, a couple of electric fans and a snowstorm. No, Venetian blinds. Eh? Yes, they keep out the sun and yet they wouldn't keep out the light. No. And they're ever so pretty, Joe. Plastic in all colours. Yeah. Mrs Turner's had them fitted all over the house. They're so light and easy and only need wiping with a cloth when they get dusty. Yeah. The whole house only cost her £25 to fit. I'm sure you'd find it much cooler and if we had... Uh, now, hold on, Ethel, hold on. I said I was feeling hot, not balmy. Oh, but just think, Joe, how cool and comfortable the house would be. Listen, if I want to spend £25 to keep cool, I'd go on a week's holiday to Iceland. All but... right, I only thought I'd mention it. Well, if I hadn't stopped you, you'd have gone right through the catalogue. Anyway, I feel too hot to start an argument. Well, in that case, it must be the hottest day of the year. Eh? And what exactly does that mean? If the cap fits, then you can push it in your pipe and smoke it. Oh. Hello, Mum. Hello, Dad. Oh, hello, Jane. Oh, hello. isn't it warm? I feel cool enough, Mum. You wouldn't feel half as warm if you dressed properly. No, and neither would the blokes at the tennis club if you dressed properly. Oh, you shouldn't talk like that. Oh, I'm only pulling her leg, love. Aren't I, Jane? Of course you are. Nice to see there's a bit of life left in the old dog yet. Hey, no, none of your cheek, young lady. Oh, Dad, that hurts. <laughs> Serves you right for getting rid of your armour plating. Mum, did you used to slap 
slap you like that. It's none of your business, Jane. Mum, you'd feel much better in a blouse and slacks. You can have my slacks if you like. Oh, I won't be wearing them again. Why? What's wrong with your slacks? They're not tight enough. Oh, what a generation. Slacks aren't tight enough and they all buy their jumpers two sizes too small. Mum, I know it would make us all feel cooler. So do I. A change of conversation. No, Mum. Venetian blinds. Eh? Yes. Why don't we get Venetian blinds? Yeah, look a bit rum walking down the street in Venetian blinds, wouldn't we? <laughs> they think the flying saucer men were here. For the house, silly. They'd look fine at all the windows. Mm, now, I wonder where you got that idea from. You no need to look at me, Joe. But it's a good idea, just the same, Jane. Well, I don't know. When you two suddenly start thinking of the same thing... You get suspicious. No, I get landed for it. Now, there's no need to go uh, all hot under the collar. Oh, that's a bright remark in this weather. Well, perhaps it'll cool down soon. The weatherman said something about a shower later tonight. Well, he's wrong again. There's going to be a shower right now, and I'm the one who's going to have it. Here we are, Ethel. How's that for a chest? Joe Haggett. In the flesh, love. In the flesh. You're not going in the garden like that. Why not? But, Joe, trunks in the garden. Well, the apple trees have got trunks, haven't they? You ought <laughs> to be ashamed of yourself. Suppose someone looks over the fence. Then I'll be a statue. I'll take a mouthful of lemonade, stand in the fish pond and squirt water. <laughs> oh, you silly thing. Wow. Anyway, you better put something else on before you go out in that garden. OK, love. Have you got a piece of adhesive tape? Adhesive tape? Yes, to stick in loops across my chest. Well, I have somewhere to keep me pipe and matches. Now, who the heck's this? The ice cream man? Hello, Mrs. Huggy. I called to say I was going on my holidays, Mrs. Huggy. Eh? Yes, so I won't be calling for the insurance. It would be funny, wouldn't it, if you went to the door, <laughs> Mrs. Huggy, and there was someone there you didn't know, eh? <laughs> yes, and now I'll tell you something. I'm not Mrs. Huggy. Eh? Hey? Yeah. Well, you're not? Wait a minute. Well, I call. I'll come out without my glasses. Oh, what a mistake. <laughs> I've never seen a man in a low-cut dress before. Hey? Oh, the bare chest. <laughs> it's yeah. very funny, <laughs> Mrs. Huggett. <laughs> What's funny, Joe? Oh, well, me telling your husband I wouldn't be here on Friday and him wearing a low-cut dress. <laughs> and see. Oh. <laughs> very funny, Ethel. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it must be. Yeah. And all because I thought he was you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's nice to be able to laugh at nothing. Thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yes, love, very funny. <laughs> oh, dear, must be the hot weather. Oh, it must be the hot weather. <laughs> well, thanks for letting us know, Mr. Gripe. Hot weather. Oh, dear, that's a good one. It don't worry the ducks on your wallpaper, does it, Mrs. Huggy? No. no, it doesn't, Mr. Gripe. <laughs> they can have a swim any time they like. <laughs> all right, all right, we've had our fun. Goodbye, Mr. Gripe. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Huggy. Goodbye, ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh, he's a scream, isn't he, Well, Joe? never mind that, Ethel. What about this flipping wallpaper? Don't the people who call notice anything else? Oh, Mr Grapp didn't mean any harm, Joe. Well, he passed remarks about it, didn't he? Oh, well, if that's the mood you're in, you'd better go out in the garden and sweat it out. Oh, well, you got something there. I think I'll go and give the old deck chair a bashing. Joe, you're not going out like that. What will the neighbours say? Oh, I don't know. Let's ask them, shall we? Mrs Cross, Mrs Stebbins... Come and look at me. I've only got my trunks oh, on. Oh, Joe, stop it. Claire, would you like to come and scratch me back? Oh, Joe, please. <laughs> All right, love, no one hears me. They've all got their wirelesses on too loud. Well, now for a nice quiet snooze in the old deck chair. Dad? Dad, wake up. Huh? Hey, what's the matter? Oh, it's you, Bobby. <coughs> Mum says she's found a blue bottle in the pantry. Oh, well, if it's labelled poison, tell her not to drink out of it. A blue bottle. A big fly, funny. Oh, a buzzer. Yes, and Mum says she doesn't like all those flies in the kitchen either. Now then, tell her to sort out the ones she does like and chase the others out. Now, leave me alone, Bobby. I was just dreaming of a white Christmas. Fine husband you are. Eh? Hey? You put fly papers up in the kitchen for Mum. There's not a single fly on one of them yet. Well, perhaps the flies don't know what they're there for. Now, you go and stick a few currants on them to act as decoys. Oh, fat lot of help you are, lying there like Moby Dick at high tide. Now, that'll do, Bobby. Go on, you buzz off and let's have a bit of peace. OK. I hope you sizzle. Hey. Yes, well, I wouldn't be surprised at that. I've never known it so hot. Ah, now for a bit of peace and quiet. 
Joe. Eh? Oh, well, yes. what is it now? Fred's timid stomach. It's just like a beetroot. Well, what does it matter if it... Yeah, how do you know? He's asleep in his garden and he's only got his flannels on. I'm sure he's getting his stomach burnt. Well, if he does, it'll be what they call a pot roast. Oh, don't you think you ought to go and warn him? Not likely. When he gets brown on one side, it's Clara's job to come out and turn him over. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, it is hot in that kitchen. Do you think I ought to come out and peel the potatoes in the garden? Yeah, if you like, love. But you'll have to dig them up yourself. Oh, the potatoes for lunch, clever. Oh, I can see I'm not going to get much change out of you today. Well, then how about letting me sleep it off? Oh, very well. But you ought to try working in the kitchen with all those flies. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, now let's try again. Ah, something like being tired when you feel like a rest. Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Guess who? Oh, no. Oh, I just woke up, Joe. Why? Why? Well, it's a thing I often do when I've been asleep. <laughs> Having a little nap yourself, Joe. No, just giving up the idea. Oh, hot, isn't it? Yeah, makes you lose all your energy. Not half. I just saw Turner's dog chasing Cross's cat and they were both walking. <laughs> I, mean, I can see the hot weather agrees with you, Fred. Sun's certainly bringing the corn on. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Here, yeah. Claire has been on about making the house cooler, Joe. What do you think of Venetian blinds? The same as I told Ethel. Aye. What do you mean, Ethel's been on about them as well? Aye, oh, aye, they've been getting together again, eh? Well, it seems like it. Well, there's no flies on old Fred, Joe. No, but you can see where they've been. Aye. <laughs> oh, 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 hey, what oh, the... Oh, you spoke oh, too oh, soon, Fred. Oh, oh I mean, look at this lot. Oh, lovely the place, swarming with oh, midges. Oh, oh, go not away. Not here. Oh, I'm going in. I'll see you later, yeah, Fred. Yeah, so long, Joe. Oh, go away. Oh. oh, Ethel, the garden's swarming with midges. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, what's funny about it? They've bitten the lumps out of me. <laughs> Oh, well, I wanted to come into the garden to get away from the flies. Mm. Now you've come into the house to get away from the flies. <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> well, someone at the door. Well, after this lot, I'll bet there's one thing certain. What's that? Whoever it is, I'll bet they pass remarks about that flipping wallpaper. <laughs> Now, Bobby, just you go out and play in the garden. Your dad wants a bit of peace and quiet. OK. Funny the way you suddenly become important tonight. You think he was the only man who mattered to you. Well, I'd better be. Now, buzz off, Bobby. All right. Mm. I'll go and see if Molly Braithwaite feels the same way about me. Ah. You look real comfortable, Joe. Darla, it's nice to get a bit of fun after a hot day at work. You deserve it, dear. I'd do anything for you, Joe. Have another wine gum. Another? Well, I've had six already. You're trying to get me drunk? Of course I'm not. I just wanted you all to myself. It's not often we have a quiet evening together. That's one of the pleasures of being married, isn't it? That's right, love. Yes, I realised how lucky I was when I met Polly Downs today. She said that you were always the generous one, Joe. Hey? Always buying me things. Oh, so that's what you're after. Slippers, pipe, quiet night together, wine gums, and then I buy you something. It happens every year. Joe Huggett, I'm not asking you to buy me anything. No? No. You sure? Of course I am. <laughs> you spend enough on me as it is. You're too good to me. From now on, I'm going to help you to save money. But I... Oh, go on, keep on, Ethel. This is one of the nicest conversations we've ever had. For instance, oh. I'm going to put a new collar on my blue dress and wear it instead of buying a new one. Oh, smashing. And you won't need any more hats, will you? Why not? Well, you look so much nicer with just your halo. Oh, well, it's all settled, Joe. From now on, I'm going to be prepared to make sacrifices to save you money. Now, what about you? Oh, yes, dear. I... What, me? Yes. Well, what are you going to give up? Surely you're not going to let me do all the sacrificing. Well, what can I give up, Ethel? I don't gamble, I hardly drink. Well, the smoking. Oh, not again. Oh, well, now, look, Joe, giving up just one packet of tobacco a week wouldn't be a big sacrifice, would it? Well, no, one packet wouldn't be a sacrifice. Good. Then perhaps you'd better give up too. Oh, but Ethel, let... Well, <coughs> I knew you'd understand, dear. We'll save money and spend it all on making the home look nicer. Eh? Yes. Yes, OK, Ethel. Mm -hmm. If that's what you want the money for, I'm right behind you. Thank you, dear. Yeah. We'll show Mrs Turner she's not oh. the only one who can afford Venetian blinds. Yeah, that's right, Ethel. We're... Hey, now, wait a minute. So that's what it's all about, eh? Venetian blinds. Oh, you didn't half lead me up the garden. 
Anyway, it was worth trying. Yeah. Mrs Turner bought hers out of the £25 they won with their premium bonds. Well, when we win £25 on the premium bonds, we'll have Venetian blinds. we got to get some premium bonds first. All right, then. When's the next draw? Joe, do you mean it? Yeah. Oh, in a fortnight, I think. Right. I've got £5 to spare so you can buy some. You can get them tomorrow. Oh, Joe. Oh, thanks, yeah. dear. And when you get them, put them in our safe deposit box from the bank. Then we'll know where they are. Now, then, here's the money. One, two, three... Four, five pounds. Oh, Joe, oh, thank you. Yeah, and don't forget to take the numbers down so we can check up on them. Do you think we stand a chance? Well, not much, but if you want Venetian blinds, you'll get far less sympathy from Joe than you will from Ernie. Oh, you know, Joe, you're a lucky so-and-so, no mistake. Oh, why? Well, I just ain't to clear. If old Joe fell down a drain, he'd come up with a bunch of bluebells in his hand. <laughs> oh, thanks for the compliment, Fred, but I've no intention of proving your point. Oh. Now, do you mind if I go and have my meal? No, Joe, and it, just you be careful about men giving presents to Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> well, so long, Fred. Send me a postcard. They're funnier. Right, oh. <laughs> I think so, love. I'm the only other bloke I know with a key to your house. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? Arthur's picked me out. Arthur? Who the ex-Arthur? The man from the post office. Hasn't he been good to me? Oh, I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. What did Fred Stebbins mean about men giving you presents? He must have meant Arthur. Oh, aren't you glad, Joe? Why, should I be? Where are those premium bonds you bought a fortnight ago? Won £25. Hey? <laughs> it's not Arthur, it's Ernie. Oh, I don't care what his name is. We've won! Our number's in the paper. Look, OJ347219, £25. Oh, lummy, that's smashing, Ethel. Where's the list of numbers you made out? Oh, I'll get them. I've ordered the Venetian blinds, rose colour. Oh, it didn't take you long, did it? <laughs> well, before you can draw the money, you've got to produce the original bond, so you better get that safe deposit box opened. Smashing, isn't it, Dad? How does it feel to be rich? Oh, fine, son. You spend your time looking at the world through rose-coloured Venetian blinds. Here's the <laughs> list of numbers, Joe. They're the top one. OJ347219. Bobby wrote them out for me. Oh, yes. Hey, hey Ethel, our number's 046J347219. I know, but they've never bothered about the number in between the letters on any of them. No, Dad. All pound notes have a number between the letters. Who's talking about pound notes? I'm talking about the numbers on the premium bonds. Oh! Oh, I couldn't tell you what they are, Joe. Not until we have the box opened. Hey, then what the heck are these numbers? Well, you ought to know. You gave me the £5 notes and you told me not to forget to take the numbers of them. The, the numbers of the bonds, I meant. I thought they don't give prizes for winning pound notes. Then we haven't won. No. And I don't get me Venetian blinds. No. Then just you wait till I see Ernie. Oh, there's someone at the door, Ethel. Oh, someone at the door, Bobby. Why didn't I have a younger brother so I could pass the buck? Oh, never mind, I'll go. You only said that because Mum's gone. How do you do? Registered letter for Mr Ruggett. Oh, it's nice. Oh, uh, I've a registered letter for you, Joe. Come in, Ethel. Oh, perhaps you'd like to step inside a minute. Right, sir, thank you. Cool, unusual wallpaper. What was that? Uh, just commenting on your strange wallpaper, sir. Well, they can just leave that to the ducks. What, you mean they talk? Oh, forget <laughs> it. Let me sign the letter. i sign, Joe. You open it. <laughs> Telegrams and registered letters are my wife's nightmares, postman. Oh, really? She's scared to open a telegram and she can't get a registered letter open quick enough. <laughs> oh, Ethel, look. Five fivers. Twenty-five pounds. Five wow. fivers are twenty-five. That's quite right, madam. Yeah, twenty-five pounds. Show £25. Then we did win the premium bonds after all. I knew I'd done it right. Hey, hold on a minute, love. There might be a note inside. Winning 25 quid, eh? Could a luck of some people. The only thing I've ever won was when I bought a raffle ticket for me wife. You mean you won your wife in a raffle? No, I bought her a ticket in a raffle. She won a couple of ducks. <laughs> ducks, are you going into this wallpaper again? No, so help me, sir. There is a note, Joe. Is it from Ernie, apologising for making a mistake the first time? No, it's from Mamie Webb. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Well, that's very nice. Uh, is who's this Mamie Webb then? Oh, an American lady who stayed with us. Oh, yeah. Cool, must have plenty of money then. Oh, yeah, she's... A... Hey, what's it going to do with you? I was talking Go to my well, wife. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah, what are you waiting for anyway? My pencil. I lose more pencils that way. Uh. Oh, oh, sorry, here you are. Thank you, madame, and good day. Good day. Sauce. This is from Mamie, eh? Dear Joe and Ethel, please accept the enclosed as a little present from me. 
I couldn't offer you anything to repay your hospitality whilst I was with you. I hope you will buy something nice for your lovely little home to remember me by. Love from Mamie. P.S. I am writing from a lovely room overlooking the sea. It has the prettiest Venetian blinds. Venetian blinds, Joe. <laughs> OK, love, Venetian blinds it is. <laughs> It seems to be getting hotter than ever. I can't sit in the garden any longer, Mum. I think I'll go upstairs and change. Bunny, the door's locked, Mum. I know. Your dad locked it. He said everyone has got to keep out of his way. But then how can I get upstairs? Well, I don't suppose he thought of that. Then we better give him a reminder. Dad, Dad, open this door. Go away, all of you. But he can't lock us all in here while he takes charge of the stairs and the top floor. Dad, open up. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? It's Joe Fred. He's acting ever so strange. Yes, I'll say he is. I knocked on the front door and he shouted, Clear off whoever it is. Oh, dear. Yes, no one calls me whoever it is, Mrs H, and gets away with it. That's why I come round the back, see? <laughs> ah. Yeah, what's all that? Oh, it's Joe's noises. Uh, noises. He locked us all in here and he's been making them for the uh, last hour. I wonder what's wrong with him. Yeah. Perhaps the heat's affecting him, Mrs H. Well, something uh, is. Yeah, how did it start? I mean, he couldn't get this way without symptoms. Oh, it was just a simple thing. Yeah. The man called from the dry cleaners. I asked him in the hall to wait, and when I came back, I find him having a few words with Joe all about the wallpaper. Words? Joe nearly threw him out. Then he slammed the door, and he's been there ever since. Mm, just listen to him. He's making queer uh, scraping noises uh, and he keeps grunting. Lummy, the sun must have gone to his head. Think so? Yes, they always fly straight to the weakest spot, Mrs H. What about the grunting? He probably thinks he's an animal. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What are we going to uh, do? Yeah, I'll get a ladder and go through the bedroom window and down the stairs to pacify him. Will it be dangerous? Not if someone holds the ladder. She means, will it be dangerous if Dad thinks he's an animal? Well, it depends on what animal he is, doesn't it? If he oh. thinks he's a cat, I'll just give him a saucer of milk and stroke him. <laughs> Ah, don't you worry, Mrs H. You leave him to me. It'll be all right. Oh, I hope so, Fred. Oh, he's coming back. Good cry again. Uh, Joe? Hey, what's the matter with you lot? Joe, are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Why? Well, well Fred thought you might be something. Well, I'd look funny if I wasn't. Mum means an animal. Animal? Me? Fred, what have you been playing at? Nothing, Joe, nothing. We, we, well, we just thought you was uh, acting a bit queer, see, making all those noises in the hall. Queer? Um, I've just done the sanest thing I've ever done. Look, Ethel. Joe! What's he done? He's pulled all the wallpaper off the wall. Yes, now see if anyone can pass remarks about it. <laughs> I like this wallpaper with the flowers on it. Ah, oh, we don't want flowers. Everyone who calls me asks me what kind they are. We can't have that, Ethel, especially as you wouldn't know. What uh, about this squared paper, Dad? Oh, no fear. Last squared paper we had was used for noughts and crosses. Uh, can I uh, make a suggestion, Joe? Yes, but we won't take any notice of it, Fred. Oh, in that case, I won't tell you I was going to suggest birds. I like this one. No, too noticeable, Ethel. Loud. That's loud. It's loud. We want something quiet. Yes, that'll shout at people, Mrs H. Well, they can notice things without being shouted at. Yeah, this one doesn't look so bad. No, you don't, Joe. You chose the last slot and look where it landed us. Someone's got to choose it, Mum. Well, it's not going to be you. Um, well, I'm not taking the responsibility. Um, Nobody asked you to. It, excuse me, if I could interfere for a moment, Joe. Yeah, we'd have the whole paper with pelicans instead of ducks. Yeah, how did he know that, Mrs H? You got your thumb in that page. Oh. All this fuss over a little bit of wallpaper. It was just a little bit of wallpaper that caused this fuss. Look. Couldn't we just throw the pattern book up in the air and choose whichever one it falls open at? Well, if we did that, we'd get the wallpaper we deserved. Oh, dear, I mustn't get that. Look, I've made up my mind. No one's going to choose the wallpaper. Then how will you know what to put on the wall? I'm going to get a firm of decorators to do it and we'll let them choose the wallpaper. Hey, what a good idea. Why didn't I think of that? You were too busy sticking your thumb in the pelican page. Right, uh, and we'll have it done by a posh firm, Ethel. Artistic Homes Decorators Limited. Show. That's the firm that is sending the man round tomorrow to fit the Venetian blinds. Well, good. We might get better service. I'll phone them to send someone round tomorrow to measure up the hole for the wallpaper. Yes, and don't forget, Joe, they choose the paper.
Good day, madam. Artistic Homes Limited. You're expecting me, aren't you? Oh, yes, I am. Yeah. I've come to measure it up, you see. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband told me. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lucky woman. Beg pardon? Oh, what an improvement to your home, eh? Yes, well, it'll stop people passing remarks. That's right, they won't see through these. Now, if I could just step inside a minute, thank you, madam. Oh, oh what an unusual wall. Yes, but you can't say anything about the wallpaper, can you? Whatever job, madam, there isn't any. <laughs> it's what makes a wall unusual. <laughs> oh, well, it's none of my business, I suppose. Now, uh, which room do you want measuring first, then? Well, just the hall. Eh? Hey? Just on these two walls. The two? Oh, well, it's the first time I've ever heard of Venetian blinds on a whole wall. Oh, Venetian blinds? Yeah. Then you're not the man I thought you were. No, and I'm beginning to doubt if I'm the man I thought I was. Oh, fancy. You're the Venetian blind man. That's right, yeah. Oh, you must think I've been acting silly. Yes, the thought had crossed my mind. But oh, well, uh... It was a misunderstanding, you see. I'm also expecting a man to come and measure up for wallpaper. Huh? Where's he going to hang it? Against the windows, eh? Hey? <laughs> Is he? <laughs> Against the windows? <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Oh, now, you're being silly, aren't you? Me? Oh, well, you can just start in the dining room. OK, madam. It's my own fault, I suppose. There goes my cup of eleven cents. Lead on, madam. My mums, don't the Venetian blinds look nice? Yes, makes you almost wish you were a Venetian. Uh, if you were, then you'd probably go out and buy British blinds. <laughs> anyway, they look OK. Did the man come about the wallpaper? No, Jenny. Anyway, it's too late now. He'll probably come tomorrow. <gasps> Nothing but people knocking on the door all day today. Uh, good evening, Mrs Hargett. Yes, thank you. Yes, well, I've called with the range. Range? Who is it, Ethel? The... This man, he's <laughs> called with the range. We didn't order any range, did we? Well, have we got a guest stove? Oh, no, not the kitchen range. Ha, 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 dear me, no. No, I've called the range of wallpapers. Oh, wallpapers? Yes. <laughs> oh, come in. We've been expecting you. Oh, thanks ever so. Oh, would you mind taking the pattern book, please? Oh, my arm's gone proper dead. Oh, oh we don't want that thing. Mm? But the pattern, you see, they're all oh, in there. Oh, we'll leave the pattern entirely to you. We'd like it to be a surprise to us. Oh, I say, how exciting. You mean I've got carte blanche? Oh, no, no. We just want you to do as you like. Mm -hmm. Look, we'll leave it entirely in your hands. Now, I'm taking the whole family out for the day on Saturday. Could you get someone to do it while we're away? Oh, indubitably. Yes, and in the afternoon as well. <clears throat> well, just leave it to me, Mr Haggett. I'll personally superintend the job myself, and when I get on a job like this, you know, I'm, I'm out of this world. I'm really. <laughs> yes, I can well believe that. Oh, well, I'd better go and get measured up. Bye for that. <laughs> what a character that one is. <laughs> well, he must know his job. Yes, and thank goodness too. We don't want any more remarks about our flipping wallpaper. Well, nice day out, eh, love? I enjoyed every minute of uh -huh. it, Joe. Well, hurry up and open the door, Dad. Let's have a deco at that wallpaper. Oh, yes. Oh, I've forgotten all about that. Just a minute, I'll switch on the light. Oh, good evening. I waited for you to come home, just to get your reaction, Mr Huggett. Oh, thanks. I... Oh, lummy. Joe! Mum! Oh, heck. Well, like my choice. Like it? Yes. Most unusual, isn't it? I simply adore ducks. Joe, it's exactly the same as the one we had before. Yes, come here, you. But I... Well, get out of here. Mr Huggett, I... Get out of here. <laughs> well, I've all the... Our own wallpaper. Well, this is where we came in. Well, Joe, you did give him carte blanche. Yes, I suppose I did, but... Ducks. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that little one, Joe. Eh? Just going into the water. <laughs> <laughs> well, he always was my favourite. Oh, well, he can be again. Yes, so he can. <laughs> I'm beginning to like it. It's not a bad wallpaper, really. No, it's a bit unusual, though. Oh, well, no good us always being ordinary. No, why shouldn't we be different? Even if it's only because of our flipping wallpaper. Ha, 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 ha.